Do you think you come straight back in as the man in possession? Um, I don't know. It's probably not a decision for me, is it? But um, I'm just looking forward to getting back and getting to work, to be honest. Like I say, getting back and next, I think me and me, Joff and Stokesy get a slight head start because of, of quarantine and those sort of things. But um, yeah, looking forward to having a couple of probably pretty tasty net sessions with those two coming in at me and then, um, yeah, getting back into work, really. Did, did you manage to see uh, much of the Sri Lanka series? How did you, how did, how did you uh, think the openers went in your absence? I did it on the timings that um, my, my child was giving me. I saw more of actually the India Australia series than, than our series because I was getting up and then going and doing my own training back at home. So I missed a fair bit of it, but obviously caught of, like, a little bit back at the end and highlights and those sort of things. And, um, yeah, it looks like the boys put in a pretty steady performance. So uh, it was good to see. Have you done any homework or watched any videos of any former tours or something like that before coming here? Uh, no, <laughs> I watched the India Australia series and saw the most recent um, uh, recent footage there. But um, no, I've I've played a few of the guys before, um, so I'm fortunate in that respect. But obviously, I haven't played all of them. What kind of uh, preparations uh, would the bat batters have uh, to face um, someone like uh, Jasprit Bumrah? Uh, well, he's quite a hard man to prepare for, isn't he? Um, Amanda. He's, he's obviously unique. Uh, in terms of how he how he comes and bolts, um, but you know it would just be working those angles, working, try and work out what he does with his seam and, and swing and those sort of things, and, and try to replicate that as best as he can.